Alan Hunt, your coach indeed, whoever's out there. Mr. L here, coming from Holland Heights Grade School Gym. We are going to be working on some more volleying skills using different parts of our bodies. We're going to get away from our hands, fingers, elbows, shoulders. Now we're going to work volleying with the lower part of our body. All right. But first things first, safety always. Make sure you're in a safe place to do PE. Make sure it's, if that's in your house, if that's in your backyard, in your front yard, in your basement, in your bedroom, wherever it is, make sure it's a safe place where you won't get hurt, you won't hurt someone else, you won't break something, you won't knock something over, things like that. Make, that's what makes a safe place. Second thing, make sure mom, dad, grandma, grandpa, aunt, uncle, brother, sister, cousin, babysitter, whoever is with you, whoever is in charge, the adult in charge, knows where you are and knows that you're doing PE. Because if you say, if you just go and do PE in your bedroom and you start jumping around and they, all they hear is stomping like a stampede of elephants, they might get a little upset. They might think you're horsing around doing something you're not supposed to. That's not what we want. Make sure they know you're doing PE and they know where you're doing it. Last thing is always sneakers. I always say wear sneakers while you're doing PE because again, they have a lot of support and cushioning so you don't hurt your ankles, knees, your feet, things like that. All right, let's get to it. Let's get some jumps in. Let's get our warm-ups in and then we'll get to it. Woo! All right, here we go. First one, we're just going to jump forwards and backwards, nice and easy, nothing crazy, we're not trying to knock stuff down. We'll do it for about 30 seconds, just to get our heart rates up a little bit, move around. All right, here we go. Forwards, backwards, forwards, backwards, or your back. Forwards, backwards, forwards, backwards. Again, they don't have to be huge jumps, but they have to be jumps. It shouldn't be a shuffle. Jump, jump, forwards, backwards, forwards, backwards, forwards, backwards, forwards, backwards. Nice and easy. Just jumping, trying to get that heart rate up a little bit. Woo! All right, stop. I'm exhausted. I'm a little old though. You guys are probably like, I'm so I'm not even tired. Not even tired for one second yet. Not even breathing hard. All right, all right, all right. Now we're gonna jump side to side. Remember, when you jump side to side, don't click your heels together, because if your feet are together, you could step on your shoe on accident, fall down. You could step on your shoe, twist your ankle. We don't want any injuries. So make sure your feet, there's a little bit of daylight there. You don't have to have a super wide, because it's gonna make it hard to Jump sideways. Have them next to each other, but have a little bit of daylight in there so they can, so you can see. So again, we're just going to jump side to side, not huge jumps, not super far jumps, just jumps back and forth. All right, here we go. Side, side. Remember to keep those feet apart while you're jumping. It's important that. Don't click your heels, you don't want to click your ankle bones, you don't want to click your knees together. That would not feel good. That would be no bueno. You'd be upset. Remember, we don't want to land on our heels. We don't want to stomp down on our heels. We want to have our heels not touch the ground. We want to be on the balls of our feet, not our toes. We've talked about that before. All right, stop. This one now is just going to be, we're going to jump our feet out, and then we're going to jump them back in. When we jump them back in, make sure you're not clicking them together. You are not Dorothy. You are not going back to Kansas. You do not have ruby red slippers. I mean, if you do, that's great. I would just recommend changing them to do PE in. I wouldn't do PE in my ruby red slippers. All right, so it's just going to be a jump out and a jump.
come back in nice and easy. Here we go. Out, in, out, in. Just get the rhythm. It's just like a little dance. Out. turn to the side so you can see what I'm doing. You guys can still face the screen. You don't have to turn to the side. We're going to do our split jumps. One foot in front, one foot behind. When I say switch, you're going to jump and switch your feet. That's it. Stand nice and tall when you do this. Try not to lean forward. When you lean forward, it ends up just being like a shuffle. I don't want that. I want you to be standing up straight, switching those feet. Here we go. One foot forward, one foot back. Switch, 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 switch. Switch, 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 switch. All right, stop. That was good. Now we're going to work on, like I said, our volleying again. We've already worked on our hands. We already worked on our finger. We already worked on our elbow. We already worked on our shoulder. So now what we're gonna work on is our leg muscles here. They're called our quads or our thighs. I always use a balloon. If you guys don't have a balloon, that's fine. I understand. Don't ask anyone to go buy you one. You don't need one. You can use a beach ball, you can use a plastic bag that mom, dad, grandma, grandpa, and uncle, whoever, what adult is in charge of you that day to blow up and try to tie to make something that floats. All right? It's easier to do and practice with something that floats. It takes a long time. A, ball, a regular ball will fall way too fast and it'll be very hard. So that's why I recommend balloons, plastic bags, something that floats paper towels, something like that. Tissues, oh. So today we're gonna work on our thigh muscles. So what we're gonna do first is just work on one. We're gonna hit it, we're gonna volley once, and then catch it. So we toss it up, watch it, hit it once, and catch. Sometimes it goes forward, sometimes it goes off to the side. We have to work on trying to keep it straight up and down. Toss it up, once, catch. Up. Catch. Oh, catch. See how it went forward? I gotta get better. Gotta lift my leg a little higher so it goes straight up. If you, be, if you just get lazy and just lift your leg a little bit like this, it's gonna go forward. That's not what we want. We wanna lift that leg high so it goes straight up. Catch. Catch. All right, let's do it the other leg. Catch. Good. There you go. Woo. Nice and easy. Lift that leg. Nice and easy. All right. Let's put time. So I'm going to you guys to the ground. Okay, cool. Now we're going to try to do two volleys with the same leg, the same thigh. Those are called our quadricep muscles. The same thigh. One, two. And then catch. 
One, two, catch. Notice how I'm moving my feet. I'm not just hoping and moving my leg out like this to try to get it. I move my feet wherever the balloon goes. I also don't hold my leg up here like this and try to hit it twice. You'll lose your balance. Folly, put it down, folly. Track it down, all right? Other leg. One, two, catch. One, two, catch. Next time. One, two, catch. All right, now it's going to get fun. Those were easy peasy lemon squeezy for you guys. I know it. So now we're going to try to volley it with one leg. And then volley it again with the other leg. And then catch. So this is what I want it to look like. Volley, volley, catch. Woo! I did it! It's going to be volley, volley, catch. Sorry, I keep going forward. I keep getting lazy and not bringing my leg all the way up. That's why it's going forward. Volley, volley, catch. Volley. Folly, catch. Now, the challenge is how many times can you volley it back and forth between your legs? So I want you to try to volley back and forth between your legs. Let's see how I do. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ah! Going, just going back and forth. Ah! But notice I moved around while I was doing it. I didn't just stand here and go, oh, I didn't get it. All right, you have to be able to move. So this is why a safe place is what I talk about. Make sure you have enough space to move around. Let's try one more time, back and forth. Oh, I'm getting lazy. Ah, oh, I got lazy. But that's the gist of using our thigh muscles. They're called our quadricep muscles. Quadricep muscles. Work on that. It's hard to balance and lift your leg and volley the balloon and do everything. So work on it. Have fun. Stay active.